it. So we've just arrived. Hello. Okay, so we are day two into our trip already. Um, it's been interesting. So first day, um, Mitzi got a call saying that she could have a casting in London. So we stayed in Guildford last night. Um, all was good. So we're in uh, the VW California coast. It is an awesome car. Um, a couple of, couple of initial issues um, that I'm gonna run you through now. So this is the inside of the van. It's very nice. I'm parked like this because we're on a hill. Um, entertainment system, bit of Chris Country, hell yeah. So you have all your standard, your standard stuff. Um, but up here is where you manage everything to do with sort of the camping side of the van. Um, okay, so let me just run you through it quickly. So this is just information on the van: fresh water, wastewater, battery, um, refrigerator. Mm, boost charging your battery, aircon, the heater, a camping sort of setup, the level of the vehicle <laughs> on, a, on a hill right now, alarm clock timer, all the lights, which is pretty cool. So you can control them individually, they've got dimmers and everything. Screen off, standard settings. So, what we were doing was we had trouble with the auxiliary heater, so we had it last night set. Um, at the parch time of 6 a.m. and operating mode should be on air aux heater. Hello, Zai. So we went to sleep with the heater on, um, on like setting eight, and when we woke up this morning, it was off and it was freezing, um, and it was stuck. It got stuck on saying please, please wait, and it would constantly keep saying please wait, please wait, please wait. Um, so did standard, did, did a bit of googling. Um, everyone suggested to go for a drive, so we went for a drive, 10 minutes. What happened was, the heater came on, like full blast, for about 15 minutes, and then when we pulled over and stopped, um, it all turned off, and it got stuck with a warning that said, um, auxiliary heating, auxiliary heater um, reached maximum time, or something like that. Um, I was just like, what do I do? So, yeah, we we called uh, Camp High and they were great. Made a few suggestions, uh, tried a fuses, tried to basically tried to reset the system. Um, I couldn't do it, and I don't have tools to take the batteries off. So we called VW Assist, and uh, literally within seven eight minutes, uh, the guy arrived. We took we took apart the van essentially. So we took, there's a there's a battery under this seat, there's obviously the battery under the bonnet, and then in this cupboard at the back, there was a, a battery down below there too. So we had to take out the bed, the bed out the back, all the, all the boxes, all that stuff, take apart the sideboard, um, and then lift out the bed, and then he got access to the battery, unplugged it, or undisconnected it, and then reconnected it and we're back on but while um while i was pulling fuses i think i've uh pulled the wrong one and uh we haven't we have a an sos function flashing even on the dashboard as well so um sorry mark i'll have to try and put that back in the right space also the uh this wasn't working so I had to just get back under the van and, and pull out the a couple of the 20 amps and try and put them back in the right space. So one mega tip, which is probably obvious to most people, is if you're gonna mess about with fuses <laughs> when you shouldn't anyway, take a picture of it <laughs> before so you know if you've, you know where you're putting it back. 
sounds silly, but yeah, make sure you take a picture. Um, there is literally no information about what Fuse does what on the internet for this particular van that I could find. Um, so yeah, just take a picture before, so you, when you're putting the back in, you know exactly where they're gonna go. Um, yeah, so we're off to London now. Mitch has got a casting, and then we're off up north. We're gonna either head the lakes or head to uh, sort of the west coast of Scotland, get a few bits of film and footage of the van, a bit of how-tos, and fingers crossed, uh, the rest of this trip goes a bit more smooth. <laughs> All right, keep going. So this is uh, the velodrome where I cycled with Paul. So outside here is all like a cycle track, all around the outside and the inside is only cycled around the velodrome. That was sick. <laughs> That's great. I didn't know it was yet. I threw up. My cycle so hard I threw up. Is that how weak you are? Hey, it was tough. It was really tough. And that was when I was actually a good cyclist as well. It was so you're telling me you're not good anymore? <laughs> no, I haven't slept in a month too. Mitzi has finished her casting. All went well, so hopefully that's all good. I'm just gonna check on the batteries and make sure uh, things are going well. So yeah, yeah, full battery, full battery. This was great. Bestic brand, fantastic inverter. Uh, kit's ready, all good. So we're gonna get on the road now and start making our way up to, well, north, see how far we get. <laughs> about 7 a.m. Sorry I didn't record last night. Um, we finally found some, well, the place we went to, the place we had in mind, uh, which we found on search for sites, was shut. Um, there was about two to three inches of snow where we were, um, so potentially that's why it was shut. But um, yeah, we arrived at half 11 and had to just turn around and find somewhere so we found a tiny little village just propped up nice and quietly um, and here we are just moved on this morning sorting ourselves out um, and we're gonna head up to Glasgow yeah a bit of shopping um, and then move on so yeah so we are now currently in Northumberland National Park and it's the first time we've seen it uh, last night was dark very dark very snowy um, but as you can see it's a typical uh, English countryside <laughs> couple of sheep uh, yeah bloody knackered to be honest need to find uh, probably find a campsite up on the, the northern side of Glasgow and chill out have a proper shower um, and relax get some work done get a bit of video editing done um, and get out of rain. <laughs> Here's a van. It's been doing, been doing us well. It's actually, I've always wanted a bigger camper, but it's actually doing a really good job. It's 
nice and easy to drive, small. Now the heat is working, it's happy days. But yeah, off to Glasgow we go. Just arrived at Loch Katrine. It is cold and it is windy. <laughs> we are the only people here though. Surprisingly. Maybe not surprisingly. <laughs> it's, it's winter. Let me show you around a little bit. So it looks like maybe in the summer or slightly warmer days, they're doing boat trips up and down the locks. So this one here is Loch Lomond on the left, Loch Arklet, and then Loch Katrine. So yeah, we are here looking out down the lock there. And then off to the left. So this is the Pier Tiro. Um, apparently it's quite famous and very popular when it's warm. <laughs> I mean, you can see on all the pictures how nice this is when it's not freezing winter. Let's have a little look. Yeah. No. <laughs> Found a bathroom? No. The Ladies, let's see if the gents are open. I'm pretty sure they're closed. Dog friendly cafe. Surprise, surprise, they're closed. What a fantastic place for a tea room though. Imagine this in the summer. <laughs> Gorgeous. Yeah. Not right now, it's a bit chilly, Zai. There's some beautiful big mountains. <laughs> yes, I think I think we're going to spend the night here. Like I said earlier, I've got quite a bit of work to do, um, and there is zero signal here. No 4G, no 3G, no any signal, no phone calls, no nothing. So we are uh, away from the world for one night. Sorry if. Uh, I need to get back to you. <laughs> um, we have just cooked some egg sandwiches and they were lovely. That was the first time cooking in the van. Um, not a proper meal, but nice. And yeah, we're just going to chill out tonight. Maybe have a little wander around if the rain completely stops. Get wrapped up a bit. Have a wander around. I've just seen actually, that's not a phone box. That says defibrillator on it. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna just gonna chill out tonight, have a rest. I haven't really slept properly for the for the first two nights. So I've been late nights, early starts. Um, 
yeah, this is Loch Katrine. <laughs> we've um, opened the roof and we've realised yeah, if you open the roof next to a very cold lock then it gets very cold in the van very quickly and you can see this is very thin and it sounds like we're outside so to warm us up I mean she's making some pancakes we didn't make it from scratch, we bought them in a, <laughs> in a towel. <laughs> we have some chocolate syrup. Ooh, I love that one. And some maple syrup. Oh yeah. I like, I like chocolate so much. How did they taste, though? Good. Good? Yeah. bad choice easy to make well, I thought they were disappointing So I've got to the middle of Glencoe, where the uh, most famous valley path coming through. So what I've done is we've hiked up the side of the hill a little bit to try and get some shots of the van. Um, but obviously I've parked the van in not the best spots. So <laughs> I'm gonna head back down and try it again. Yeah, we're gonna spend the uh, next couple of hours here, I think, just shooting here. The weather's not amazing, but it's pretty good. So yeah, just gonna hang out here for a bit and uh, have some lunch, do a bit of filming, and uh, 
Yeah, it's a good day. It's quiet as well. One other car here. Gorgeous. Wrong shoes for the job though. <laughs> of deer. I've never seen so many together. It's like a herd. It's amazing. Okay, so I just pulled over on the side of the road because I've just seen a herd of deer. Like a herd, that must have been about 150 of them. So, gonna have a little wander and see if I can capture them without disturbing them and without falling into a ditch. Okay, so they're walking towards me still, so I'm hiding in there. Oh my god, it's freezing! My smell is downwind, right? That's good. I'm sure you So orange on your camera. We're just having a pit stop in Fort William. We came here probably last winter, no winter before last. And it's very Christmassy and very nice. Today it's looking very bleak and wintry and not very inviting. <laughs> we're gonna uh, just grab a bit of food and get our bearings, then we're gonna carry on heading north. The plan tonight is to get just before Apple Cross and assuming that it's open tomorrow we will head up and over Apple Cross tomorrow. Alright, keep posted. Yes, as you saw my uh, attempt of filming the deer herd was an absolute shambles. But while driving down the road we saw something that looked like pirate swords. So we pulled over and uh, we just captured these super, super cute goats. It's like a family of goats and there's baby goats and mummy goats and daddy doe. Goat doe, goat goats. <laughs> it was cute.
see them now, but they're off. Walking off into the distance there. Bye bye. Right, onwards. stay tonight it's quiet it's big enough for uh, multiple cars to move by we have an epic view um, and if it I th there's a chance tomorrow is gonna rain off so we might stay here again tomorrow and just wait for the rain and then go further north up across the Apple Apple Cross Peninsula through the Torridon um, and that's where I know some really epic roads to get some great drone shots and some great photography of the van um it's not that cold now it's pretty nice we're just gonna uh just gonna cook up some rice and uh yeah chill out we got 4g so i'm gonna just sit in the van and watch some netflix tonight too um yeah see you in the morning hello so we are down at aileen donham aileen donham aileen donham castle there it is I'm just gonna grab my camera and take some pictures, but there is nobody. Oh, it's just us, it's absolutely gorgeous. It's not raining, it's not snowing, it's not sunny, but it's it's nice. So yeah, I'll take you on a little tour around very empty very famous Scottish castle. <coughs> so, just taking a, a quick walk. Just taking a quick walk down, away from the castle, let's see if I can take a nice picture. Looks like a few people have been here before. Yeah. Wake up this morning. <laughs> so, here we are, look at that. It's gorgeous. It's very cool. It is an epic castle. So I thought, I mean, I pretty much fly my drone anywhere, but it's not going to hurt me. I'm not going to fly here. I need a big drone. No drone, so no sign. Let's have a little wander around now and see what we can see. It's cold. There is something pretty special about being here when you're running. shop closed <laughs> excuse me <laughs> toilets closed unfortunately shop normally all social distance look oh, the tickets closed so I did read on a sign on a notice board back there that after after closing hours you are allowed to have a wander around over to the castle so let's have a little wander just over to the bridge I'm not gonna go right around I'm just gonna go stand on the bridge a little bit. Let's 
the van? Is there anyone here? Nice. Wow. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head back up uh, to where we stayed. I'm gonna take a few more pictures of this with the snow mountains behind. And yeah. Yeah, so I'm just gonna take a few more pictures. Then we're gonna head back off. Up and over Apple Cross if the road's open, and uh, yeah, try not to get snowed in. Apparently, snow, there's a lot of snow coming in the next couple of days. So, I mean, the weather app saying that it's going to be snowy, sunny. Everyone's telling me it's going to be bloody. The weather app saying it's going to be sunny. I was saying it's going to be snowy. So. Okay, so the, the plan was to head up over Apple Cross. It hasn't snowed that bad, but I know it's very high. However, da -da -da, oh, da -da -da. Uh, yeah, it's closed, blocked by snow. So we're gonna go chill down there, watch the sunset, some nice sun rays, and then we'll drive around to Shieldag and Torridon, and that's where we'll do the drone shots and uh, some great photography of the van. All right. So as you know, Apple Cross was closed, um, and this is where we've managed to find, to relax, watch the sunset. The first proper sunset. I say proper, there's still a lot of clouds, but this is the first sunset we've had since we've been away. Um, good old Scotland coming through for us. So here's where we are. I can't, I can't pronounce the actual little village that we're in but there's Zai playing on the beach so this here is the Apple Cross road so you would normally drive up between the valley let me zoom in between the valley so this here is where it's uh, snowed in it's quite a beautiful beach not sand but still beautiful very very quiet you right, Zai? That's coming off. <laughs> There's a van, we've got a couple of time lapses going on. Not much more we can do here to be honest. So yeah, just gonna just gonna enjoy the sunset, get a bit of food, more food, food's always good. <laughs> and uh 
see what tomorrow brings if we cannot for whatever reason go up the apple cross path we will drive around towards shield ag and Torridon. um and yeah that's that's where we'll head tomorrow so yeah see what it brings but for now we'll enjoy the sunset so do you like this beach uh -huh. and what sea creatures have you found Are they? Do you know? Yeah, I'm the They're snails. Yeah, I like these snails. We need to go back and see. These are snails. I'm gonna hang more. I'm gonna go back to the room and see. That noise is this one <laughs> nearly falling over. Oh, sure, I'll hold your camera. Oh, it's recording, Zion. It's recording. What shall I film? <laughs> I'll film the sunset for you. Oh, how lovely. How lovely. Just woken up. It was a good night's sleep, actually. I mean, we had the heater on most of the night um, at like level four, but it kept us warm. Like, so we're we're kind of tucked away in this little little ditch, little hidey hole, I guess, where they've dug some ground out for some work around here, um, and it's left this kind of kind of like a man-made hole, it's like a wind. What do you call it? kind of left this like wind hole no wind hole <laughs> so yeah we there was a bit of wind but you know it didn't really get us so yeah great night's sleep to be honest we might even uh stay here again it's just a gorgeous location um so yeah breakfast time gonna uh yeah have some breakfast go out for a walk see what we can find around here there's a beautiful lot just down down the front there beautiful views this morning so yeah breakfast time mm. Daddy, you can see waffles in the car hey guys hey you're eating waffles now <laughs> the mama's cooking there look at the left okay. chocolate one for you Zai 
This one's really chocolatey. Ooh. Careful, because it's going to drip everywhere. <laughs> Enjoy. Captain some bits of the van going through the uh, Scottish hills. Mitzi's getting well involved, look. <laughs> Bless her, brilliant. state. So we've just found out why the deer here are so tame. We got our local uh, feeder just come by. I don't want to film him. <laughs> but yeah, our, our local uh, feeder's just come by, I think with, uh, what's he got? Tomatoes, they like tomatoes, carrots, hello. It looks like they got apples down there too. So we're gonna do a bad thing feeding the apples. They've literally come in, fed them, and they're off again. <laughs> Look, they, we should cut them out for them, right? What a great shot. That... Set me up for a good good picture there. Well, that's why they, that's why they were waiting, though. They were waiting for their daily dinner from the local mister. Local, local guy and his wife. Funny. Probably the closest we've ever been to a deer, hey Zoe? We are closest to the he's deer. He's being kind. Yep, but he's coming near so to us. So we think this is the daddy of the mummy and the baby over there. They seem hungry. 
but I've never seen them this this tame before. Man, those horns are terrifying. We haven't got any more, buddy. Don't be angry, please. Just be happy. Are you filming? Mm -hmm. no. Just gotta get a real close up of his face. No more, mate. No more, mate. He's literally right outside the car. I'm guessing that over the years they've just become a bit more tame, but I've never ever seen them this close before. He's amazing. I'm trapped in the front, so Mitzi's on the camera. He's still here. Okay, so after uh, seeing our friendly farmer, friendly neighbour come and feed them, I'm gonna uh, just give him one last apple. I think it's been chewed on a bit. You want it? It's a bit hard. You've got big old teeth. Crunch it up, crunch it up. It's 7am, um, 7.30 now. The sky has just got this most amazing colour in it. Yeah, there it is. And the plan is, um, fingers crossed this sunrise comes up. Um, once that arrives, we can go a bit of filming with the van, in some sun, with some snowy mountains behind, just like I'd hoped, fingers crossed. Um, my hand's freezing, so I'm gonna I'm gonna get off this, and uh, yeah, here's some footage from today. We 
have just stopped off in the lovely little town of, I'm gonna butcher the name here, Kin, Kinlokui. <laughs> I don't know how to say the name, but um, yeah, so they got like a little service station, there's toilets here. Um, I guess these are just houses. And then uh, recycling point and stuff. Well, look at this, it's right next to the, to a river. Or a stream, I don't know what you want to call it. I think we can walk through, so I'm going to walk down to the river. See what we can see. Well, water. <laughs> um, and I'm going to fill up some water bottles from, from the river too. But yeah, once we've finished here, we're going to head round to... Uh, I don't actually know the name of it. Once we finish here, we're going to carry on heading northwest. Um, I know a couple more kind of nice roads that are higher elevated, so I'm hoping there's going to be some some snow up there for us to uh, capture some bits in the snow too. But yeah, on we go. Historically, Kinlocku has been a natural through route. The Glens have witnessed many clan skirmishes. Drovers have stopped here to rest their cattle. Merchants have ridden through, carrying their wares to the outlying communities in the west. People have lived in this landscape for thousands of years, and there is a fascinating story for you to discover. It's pretty cool. I'll have a read of that when we come back with our water bottles. There's the van over there. Oh, I see. Very pretty down here. Whoa, that's cold. Oh my gosh, that is like icy cold. We don't want to fall in this. <laughs> One done. So the plan is not to use this as drinking water unless we boil it. So probably we'd use this for pasta, things like that, when we boil the water. But yeah, what a place. Okay, gonna head back to the car now and uh, hit the road.
Okay, so a long time ago we found uh, kind of a, a secret place that isn't really a signpost. And this is, uh, this is the view when you get here. It's pretty amazing. Love it, no cars, just us. Look at that view, shit. Robin. Love it. So I was just getting the big camera ready, but he's actually come to see us. Hello, buddy. We're just seeing if we got any food for you. Hello. Beautiful, hello. Oh, that was super cool. Lock Marie's Robin. <laughs> oh, my little friend keeps popping back. Hello. Want some food? Let's see what I can get you. Hold on. So just currently got the uh, big lens out, taking a couple of snaps of the van, a couple of snaps. So just got the big lens out now, taking a couple of pictures of the van, looking glorious in the sunshine by the glorious Loch Marie. What a place. Do you like it here? Uh -huh. A bit cold? I love it. A bit, <laughs> yeah, it is a little bit cold. Coming to the tea party. So, this is Loch Marie. It's gorgeous. Um, just taking a few pictures of the van, uh, Missy's products, and I love it here. It's a shame we can't park here overnight, but you know, park out on the road and then come back in the morning. It's just, uh, I mean, you could be anywhere in the world. It's amazing. Right, time to bring out the big camera and uh, see what we can capture.
Okay, so we have some, what was it, Mexican rice? Mm -hmm. Veggie sausages. What do you have, Zai? Golden. Golden vegetable rice. Yeah, I like it. Uh, mayo, pineapple juice, water. The sun is shining. Beautiful guys, we just stopped off to take some pictures and he came to say hi. Hello. Hello. Beautiful. We are just on our way into Gearlock. Yeah, what's your name? What's your name? Beautiful. <laughs> and the friendly cows have come over to say hello to you. I guess not much happens in these parts. <laughs> <laughs> yes, mate. So we are currently somewhere on the road between Gearlock and Ullapool. 
Um, just setting up the van for the evening. Ooh. Jeez. Ooh. This is where we've sat and had dinner. The sun has just set. You can see the color in the sky, it looks amazing. So what we're trying to do is get the van set up for the evening when it's light because when it when it gets dark it's actually really difficult um we haven't been popping the roof because there's no insulation in the roof so it's bloody freezing um but it's okay when the roof's down there's enough space once the bed and that sorted out but getting it sorted can be a faff so we just yeah getting that done in the daylight um basically going to head off once this is set up sunset the time lapses are finished um i was time lapsing the the mountains in the distance over there looks kind of cool now but there wasn't much color and it was quite cloudy so not sure how well that's going to come out um but yeah gonna head off now to yeah up up towards Alapool way and sort of Grunard Bay. I know that there's some gorgeous sandy beaches down there for tomorrow and it's supposed to be a sunny day. So, so yeah, it's probably freezing now, so I'm gonna get back inside and uh, enjoy the warmth of the van. Good night. Okay, so it's about, it's, it's currently about seven in the morning. Um, we were heading out to probably my most favorite road. Um, unfortunately, road is closed due to snow. Um, yeah, not much we can do about that, unfortunately. One of those things, I mean, it's kind of unlocked, but <laughs> it's probably not worth uh, breaking the rules for the uh for the vw um so i think what we're going to do is we're going to start making our way back i mean this the sky's looking great i think if we were managed to get up there it would have been absolutely spectacular but i think they're worried because uh there's been some weather warnings for snow so i think what we're going to do is um we'll see what we can get on the way back through but yeah we're going to uh head off back down south and start processing all these images and uh, get back to normal work for the next few weeks. So yeah, on the road we go. So we didn't get very far. We are, the road closed was 
up over there. <clears throat> um, but look, it's snowing. It's so beautiful. I guess uh, we're gonna we're gonna hit the road though because I know snow in Scotland can fall a lot harder and a lot quicker than most places. So um, don't want to get stuck. Kind of do want to get stuck, but uh, things to do next week. So hitting the road now in this gorgeous weather. We'll see if we can capture some stuff on the way back home. And uh, yeah, thank you all very much for watching this far and being on this uh, little Scotland adventure with us. Yeah, see you on the next one.